Yesterday was a pretty bad storm. And uh, wind, ice, rain, snow. It's pretty, it's closed up here, but today's like 38 degrees. So it's warmer than uh, freezing. But, whoa, shit. Standing underneath the rows of trees, you can see where the ocean meets the sky. Under our clothes. Fire grows. We are ready for this life of running wild. We're running wild. Underneath the rows of trees, I will see you where the ocean meets the sky. Under your toes, the fire grows. You are ready for a another day of kicking my ass. A little dicey. I thought the concern would be snow or ice it's actually mud mud is freaking impossible it's like quicksand some of it fall number five one thing i learned big lesson when you see a large boulder when there's a lot of melted snow and things that are refrozen assume that that boulder is covered with ice i stepped on this rock it was a big rock once I stepped on it, I realized, because it was the same color as a rock, fell probably four feet down, landed on my backpack. I think backpacks have become life preservers. I think what you learn about yourself is that you know what to be out here not to have to impress anybody setting up the tent the way you want to do it eating when you want to eat taking off when you want to take off i may not be the most stylish person but you know to be a middle-aged person out here I'm realizing there's a lot of other people out here like me doing this and i had some amazing interviews yesterday one and i'm going to look more into this but bob Peoples. Bob Peoples is a gentleman who I believe from this point, about 20 miles up, has a hostel. Long distance hiking reestablishes your faith in mankind. Mm -hmm. There's good people everywhere. Get out of the cities, get to the country. And he also drives people around, drops off backpacks, he does what he needs to do to help people out. Um, he was just the most genuine, sweet man and with some amazing stories. I wish I could show you a card that I got Thursday of this week. And years ago, a hiker came in, a southbound, a young guy in his early 20s. And he said, uh, you know, I haven't got my fair share of trail magic. <laughs> and my response was, you probably got what you deserved. Hmm because, you know, when did that become an obligation? Yeah. You know, yeah. not a privilege. Well, this has got to be close to 10 years that that happened. Mm. I got a card on Thursday. It said it still bothered him because he didn't present what he was trying to say correctly. What he was trying to say that he didn't really, he expected a lot more people to be helpful. Then he went on this whole card that it's been bothering him all these years. Wow. And he wrote me. Imagine that. Yeah, and it's just, wow. And now he's a trail angel. He enlightened me on quite a few things. And it just, you know, there's people are out here. These people are out here for the good of mankind. This guy is, I believe, 73 years old. The common thread is once you do the AT, and this probably goes for any other trail also, but once you do it, you don't usually go back to your normal life. I'm telling you, if you come out here for a purpose, for cleansing, for finding yourself, you will most likely find yourself out here, or at least a version of yourself. This was pretty special, and I think that more people should probably try it. Thank mm -hmm. you.